In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 12 things happy people do differently. Now, these steps are literally easy and simple to incorporate in your daily lives. I mean, this is something I've been practicing for the past two years, so, and I've seen a lot of benefit, such as, um, now I'm one of the most positive people. Um, wherever I go, I'm always cheerful, I'm always happy, smiling all the time. I used to be really negative at one point in my life. The first, every, most of my dominant thoughts were about something negative. So I got to a point in my life where I just felt like, you know, it's about time I changed that. And if I want to change my life and if I want to get somewhere in life, I need to change how I think, right? And I need to be more happy. And that, that's what I was demanding at that time because it was just it was getting too much, right? So today I've made one or two lists here that I'll be sharing with you guys. And I hope this, you guys can benefit from it the same way um, I've, I've, I've done in the past year. So yeah, let's go guys. So um, the next one would be surround yourself with good people. Now, we all know how it feels like being around negative people. They just they are just constantly complaining. I know people at my workplace that are always constantly complaining when I'm working with them. Right? Things that could be really simple. Things that they don't need to even complain. Just get on with it. Things that they don't need to even make a comment about. They'll just make a comment. They will always find something negative in the most positive thing. I, and it's so annoying sometimes, right? It's so annoying. But because they are constantly complaining and they are always constantly finding something negative, it can literally make you start being negative towards them or even towards someone. It will start making you, like, for example, someone will come next to you, like, oh, I don't like this person. They will just make a comment. Like, they will make a comment. And because you don't know this type of this person, and how they, this, and you end up thinking, okay, this person might be a bit more. You start judging them, and I, I don't know if you guys have been in that situation before. You start judging the person without even speaking to them. That's how these people are like. So we all know how it feels like. And sometimes I have, I've been in situations where I have this amazing idea that I want, to, you know, I want to probably start or to start taking actions, right? And and I'm the type of person that would always that always want to share my ideas with my mates or just people around me so we can all benefit from this, right? But then you know these people they'll just say, just be realistic, man. You're not going to it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Just be realistic and just focus on, you know, working, and just the way they can literally just destroy your dreams in once in just in in one sentence, or even with one word they can just destroy your dream. Right, and these type of people, they are not willing to let you go far. If you're thinking about, let's say, or oh, one day you want to be living in a mansion, you want your mom or whatever to be happy, they'll be like, yeah, man, like, yeah, but these things are not realistic, though. This, you're not going to get there, man. Look at your situation. Look at where you are. How is, how is that going to happen? Right, it's like, if I, if you don't, if, if I didn't train myself here yeah, to this point where, um, I don't care about these things. I'll probably be affected by that. I remember three, three years, three weeks ago, I was telling um, four people I work with. I was telling them about how um, I'm thinking about starting a channel, and I was reading a book here, yeah, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I was reading it, and I was like, "Right, this book is pretty good, man. Like, you guys need to check it out, you know." And so I gave it to, I showed it to one of my guys, and he he read it, he read the back page. And he's like, yeah, but why are you still here, though? If you if you feel like this book is changing your life, why are you still here? Right? And the people are like, yeah, man, like, you have to be real. And I was like, what the hell? In my head, I was like, what the hell? They were like, yeah, man, like, why are you still here? And they were like, and one of them, one of some girls like, that's not realistic, man. Just not realistic. Like, you need to face, you know, you need to face the fact that it's not going to happen. Like, and I was thinking, nah, it is going to happen. You're not going to tell me that it's not going to happen. Right, so if you're if you're someone that have, hasn't trained themselves into into not focusing on these things and just knowing how to just to believe in yourself, trust me, a lot of us will get affected by that. So um, just if but so just stay away from them. If you don't, if you feel like you you don't have any any other friends, if you drop these people, trust me, believe in yourself. I've done it before where I've stopped talking to people and I've literally met people in the club. I've started talking to people in the smoking area, and I'm not telling you to smoke, but I've, I've met people in the smoking area, I've been talking to them about business, and guess what, I ended, I ended up being friends with them. We ended up talking about business ideas, we ended up going out together, we ended up uplifting each other. 
So trust me, there's people out there that are willing to meet new people, just like the way we are all willing to meet new people that are that that will take us far in life. So if you feel like okay, when I if I stop talking to them, I'm not going to have any more friends. Believe in yourself and go out there and meet new people. You can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Because I did not like going up back in the days. But still, now I do that over and over again. When I did it over and over again, meet people, meet girls, meet guys, and just talk to them. And just trust me, you can do it. So just surround yourself with positive people and be aware of the type of people you hang around with. And if you're not bringing anything positive in your life, just drop them and just think as abundance mindset think that okay there's people out there that can actually get me somewhere or wherever i want to be in my life and i'm going to be friends with those people and the ways to attract and go those type of good people is by you know practicing these these things right gratitude and all these things that i'm telling you about you could do that and you end up attracting them in your life and changing what goes on here you know, if you're negative, then guess what? You attract them anyway. But if you're positive and you keep constantly being positive, constantly, you know, you know, wanting to see good in people, when you get those people in your life. But anyway, I'm talking too much about this one. So yeah, go out there and just meet those people, find those people. So now the next one is listen to more inspirational videos and read more self improvement books. Or any books, actually, any books, because reading is, itself is good. But I would say more self-improvement books. Um, for the past few weeks, I've been listening to more inspirational videos. And I have these two videos that I've been listening to every day. And it's, I've decided to listen to this, these two for 90 days, because I believe if, if I could listen to this for about 90 days, the same video for about 90 days, then I will listen to it for the rest of my life. I think one is by our Nightingale and one is um, by Bob Proctor. I mean, I have other inspirational videos I listen to during the day. I can select any video on YouTube. But these two, I've decided to listen to it for 90 days. And I've realized that I've seen, I've realized I've seen a lot of um, a, lo a lot of changes in my life. Um, I've decided, I've come from, now I want to, I've started this YouTube channel. I didn't have the confidence to start this YouTube channel. And um, there's one Bob Proctor video. There's this Bob Proctor video he talks about, um, and he says something about if I if I want to be free, I have to be me, right? Not the me that my wife thinks I should be, not the me that my children should be thinks I should be. If I want to be free, I have to be me. And I didn't have that confidence to um, to start this channel because I was thinking, how are people going to think with my accent and just so many things? This how are people going to like my content, right? And so that kind of held me back a bit. But ever since I listened to it, and when I heard that that little quote, I was thinking, okay, this is something that's literally, it's, it's, this is directed to me. So I need to change it. Yeah, I need to start it, and I need to change how I'm thinking and how I view myself, right? And that's why I've started this today. So by me listening to this over and over again, every day I get a new, a new um, what do you call it? I get a new message out of it. Something, if there's something going in my life, I'll listen to it and I'll get something positive or a different message out of it that is literally towards what I'm going through. And there's one, the next one will be El Nightingale's video, how to make it into the top 5%. And it breaks down, you know, how to get there. And it talks about how no matter where you're working, there's a hidden opportunity in your, uh, in, in, in your workplace. And there's something, there's an opportunity. If you're working in the factory, if you're working as a cleaner, you are in a for a company, there is still a hidden opportunity in your daily work that could get you to that top 5%, right? And this is something I've been listening to over and over and over again. And my work, I do four days in, four days out, right? So I realized, okay, he's talking about this, there's a hidden um, opportunity in it. I have four days off. I can get so much done in that four days. I can start a YouTube channel. I can go to the gym. I can just build so many things that I want to build. Back in the days, I didn't have that time to do that. So that's already an opportunity there for me to start something, right? I wasn't thinking like the back in the days. I will probably just be at home in my bed and just chilling or playing FIFA or something. But then when I started listening to it, I've been more productive. You know, I've been doing so many things for myself. So um, 
these are the type of benefits you can get from listening to these inspirational videos i mean there's millions of them on youtube so just select your top two or your top five that you want to listen to um there's another one i'm listening to is, is to do with belief self-belief in it but i don't know much about that but so i wouldn't really um i started about two days ago so i don't i wouldn't really talk about that more but um do that and read more books i'm going to recommend three books that you guys um should read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I've already said that before. Um, Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And the next one I'll probably say, I don't know if it's, and the next one is The Science of Getting Rich. I've done that. I mean, I'm a, I love money, so I love talking. I, I love reading books related to money. So, but um, there's so many books, self-improvement books. It doesn't even necessarily need to be, it doesn't necessarily need to be money. But I mean, if you can reflect if you can get money by balancing to get money into your life, you can get other things into your life by reading these books anyway, right? So these are the things that I've been I've been reading lately, and this, I find new quotes over from that over and over again. Probably subconscious mind I've read it about five times over the five past past year. So and when, whenever I read it, I get new information out of it, new message out of it that I could use, I could I can use every day. To benefit the way I think and how to be aware of my thoughts because it's mainly focused on our subconscious mind our most dominant thoughts right so um, how can I be aware of my most dominant thoughts is it a thought that's going to damage me in the long run or is it a thought that's going to bring me prosperity so this is something that I've been I've been reading as well like I said there's tons of books out there you can read so make sure you do that you do these things you can train your mind and once you train your mind into abundance and prosperity and happiness right you can help everyone around you so you make sure you do that i mean i'm just i'm just talking about something i'm related to but listen to these things read more books inspiration self improvement books and trust me there's a lot of things that can change in your life The following one would be optimism. This is choosing to see the good in every bad situation. Um, now that one is a bit hard. Um, I've been, I've been there before. It's a bit hard. But when we try to see that, like, okay, when we try to do that a bit more, um, I was going to say something, but then I just said, okay, let me just continue. When we try to, um, when we try to see the good in every situation, we tend to feel a bit more better. Like, you and I know, but when we dwell on all these bad things because we know that, okay, this is what's going on. And most of the time we feel like, okay, this is the situation and I need to focus on that situation. If I try to think of something positive out of that situation and try to think of something positive, it's not realistic because I need to face it, I need to solve the problem. Fine, it's good, always good to solve problems. But you all know that we can't really solve the problem on, unless we think, that, okay, we think about the, about the positive things we can get out of this before we can actually solve the problem. So I, I don't know if you guys would agree with me. So most of the time, me, when something happens, I think of something positive out of it that I could get, okay, this is not happen, but maybe you never know, this could have... You know I mean? We all think like that sometimes. Not all the time, but most, if we try to do that, it will be really, really good. Um, and it's just that it just, it just makes you feel a bit better because... We all know when we think about when something happens to us and we think about it the whole day. We sometimes, we sometimes, most of the time, we end up thinking about it for a week. Your mind just plays this thing in your head over and over again. And what we end, tend to do is just dwell on it and it's not good for our health, it's not good for everyone around us. But if you feel like, okay, who knows what could have happened? At least um, this happened and I know how to work my way around it. I'm going to get something positive out of it. I'm going to get something good out of it. If you feel, imagine if you think like that, and we, it will just our mind will start focusing, go from thinking about this negative thing and just slightly move to something positive, and we start thinking about ideas and ways we can get things done, the positive things we you know we can get out of these things. So um, <clears throat> that's what that's that's what we could we could get out of it. Let me see if I've missed anyone. I wrote a lot about this, so I don't want to talk about it as much. So. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about this because I've, I've done a whole lot of paragraph, right? And yeah, 
you should just try to see good in every situation because there's always good in every situation. Like I remember my the following the, the one before I said before when I am um, nineteen girl said there's always a hidden opportunity. So I'll say there's always a hidden something positive in every negative situation. There's hidden there's a hidden um, there's a hidden information, something positive out of it. It's hidden in there, but it's, it's our job to think. Right, it's our job to think. And one of the things he said in that video is so I think this this some this doctor, someone asked this doctor, right? What's wrong with men today? And the, doc, the man replied, men simply don't think. We simply don't think. We, see, we tend to always react to things because we react to things so quick. We don't give our mind the opportunity to think about the, you know, how, the ways how we could work our way around it. Imagine if we, if we literally sat down thought, and thought about certain situations, took our time and thought about certain situations, we can get better results. Right, but a lot of us these days don't think, right? And even before I go, before I end this, right, another thing I would say is, um, like, I've, I'll, actually, I was going to say this down in, in my next one, so let me just say it right now. Um, well, where was it? One sec, guys, where is it? Take, take responsibility. For your inner world that is something so i can include that into it. i'll add one that one into it um instead of us giving our mind time to think right most of us are literally listening to music that are not giving us you know proper thoughts listen to music that vanity music just so many things we are distracting ourselves from so many things watching tv shows um then after watching tv shows coming before bed we would listen to music um i'm not saying listen to music is bad because music you know before bed so listen to positive music before bed could put you in the right state and then i can actually help your subconscious into working during the night time when you're sleeping to giving you good dreams and actually manifest a lot at that time so it's good i listen to classical before bed it's all good but i'm saying Sometimes it's better to just go for a walk without listening to anything, be aware of what's around us, you know, and just give our mind things, ideas. Trust me, when sometimes back in days when I used to go for a walk, right, that was the times where I was getting ideas, amazing ideas, because I wasn't listening, I wasn't listening to anything. I was literally aware of my environment, so I'll walk around, I'll look at something, I'll be like, oh wow, okay, there's something I'm going to do. So imagine we should give ourselves time to think. Men so simply don't think. Yeah. Our mind is an unexplored continent, right? So imagine if we give ourselves things, we give ourselves time to think about this, use this mind properly. Trust me, we can turn our lives around. Choose to see um, positive in any every any negative situation. We should always find we need to find the positive things out of that. Right, give your mind time to think about all these positive things and give your mind time to to um to breathe sometimes in it when it comes to listening to these musics and all all these distractions of social media. Get off social media. I'm I, I, I don't I can't remember last time I went to a social media. I go on social media to post the quotes and I'll say I'm off. Right. But you see someone I know so I know I know this girl that spent over about fifteen hours a day on social media. And I'm like, what are you doing on social media? Why is it there? Why is it there for you? Why? Like, if you're doing it for your business, fine. But even that one, you need time. You need time off that so you can think properly. You know, ways on helping others. It's not just ways on helping yourself or building your business. Ways on helping with the world. We should give ourselves time. We should give ourselves time to breathe. That's that's how we can we can change things, and that's how we can help everyone. See, it's not just you. Everyone around us. So yeah, think, give yourselves time to think, guys. Um, um I think the next one, I'm on the last two. I think so. Uh, it's a long video, guys. I know um, next time I'll try to cut it a bit short for you guys. But um, so the next one is we need to understand the value of helping others. Um, and we all know that when we help others, we get that back as well. When we help others, it makes us feel good inside. And I mean, when I say when we help others, it makes us feel good inside. It's not just by them complimenting us or just being appreciative. But 
if you just help, if you focus on helping others and make and just think, okay, I want to help this person so this person can be happy. I want to see someone happy. I want to help just change the world. We feel good inside. We get that back, right? And a lot of time when we help others, we expect them to help us back and all that. We shouldn't focus on that. Just focus on helping others, right? It brings the joy out of you. It makes you happy, happy as a person. So we need to understand the value of helping people. You know, we all know what we get out of that, right? Just focus on, I'm helping this person. I don't expect anything from this person. Um, I'm, I just want to help people and I'm going to help. It's like me, I'm not expecting, um, what do you call it? I'm not expecting anything great. I just want to help people. That's the aim, understand the value. We need, all need to understand the value of helping others. And that's how we can all move on and change people and just, you know, benefit from each other. That's how the world works in it so we need to always help people and god bless you or the universe will bless you i say so we need to all understand the benefit i'm, I'm repeating myself over and over again we need to we need to um, understand the value of helping people and the next one will be where is it where is it this oh, one sec set smart goals yeah we need to set smart goals let me read that much because I can't remember what I said on that. Yeah, we need to set, he says, right, what I said was, we need to set smart goals. And uh, when I say smart goals, some people are, a lot of, most of the time we are thinking, okay, how am I going to go from here into becoming a millionaire? It's not all just that. It could be simple goals, right? Okay, I've gained a little weight. I know I'm really skinny, but you know what I mean? There's, I don't mean by me, but <laughs> I've gained a little weight. Right, um, by let's say I'm going to make sure by summertime, before summertime, you know, I get my six pack and I'm looking good. Right, it's a simple um, goals that uh, it's a simple goal, right, that we can all get, right, we can all achieve. Um, okay, lately I've been spending too much time inside. Every night I'm going to make sure I go for a walk, every night I'm, go I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure I meet someone. Just these simple, simple things, right. Every night, I'm going to make sure I read something, right? The simple goals will actually help you boost your confidence when you, you know, when you, you start seeing all these benefits out of this. Um, I'm going to learn how to start drawing. You start from somewhere, right? I mean, you don't. I'm not saying you start drawing like and say a big thing that you can draw like this overnight. No, but you start from somewhere, and you eventually, you know, when you start seeing all these little things, even if you start drawing something like this, right? At least you've done something, right? You're getting there and that will boost your confidence and it will make you go, you know, for it more and you make you and eventually you'd find yourself drawing like this, whoever drew this, I don't know. But you know what I mean? So we set smart goals and we need to know that there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. So just start going, okay, I'm going to start from the beginning and I know I'll get to the middle and you know the difference as well. You'll be aware of the difference. Once you know the difference, you're like, okay, I've done really well. So now I'm going to go for the end. I'm going to end it and I'm going to be the best. You know, when once you start doing that, um, it'll help you. Then eventually, you start from the small ones, then eventually, okay, I've got the confidence now. I believe I can get to the top. That's how you do it. So we need to, smart, we need to set smart goals and it'll help us. It'll make us more happy. It'll, it'll make us less disappointed. Um, so you guys know, just do that more. It will make you happy and happier every day. So, yeah. So now I think I've gone through everything. I know my last, my, the last few ones have been a bit slow. I'm not too sure which one I'm on. But um, I think I've gone through everything. And thank you guys for, you know, watching my channel. I really appreciate it. It's my first video. So if there's any little mistakes, sorry about that. I'll try, I'm going to make sure I improve on it all, every day. So... Thank you for coming and make sure you, you subscribe to my blog, my channel, my website, deconcovered.com. This is the channel that I have with my sister. We've been doing it for the past two years. Lately, we haven't, we haven't posted anything on that channel. Uh, sorry, this that channel. That website. That's why we have um, decided to um, start a YouTube channel. So we'll be, work, we'll be doing both when we have the time. But mainly, we'll be focusing on the channel. Eventually, I'll get her on it. She's not really comfortable in front of videos. But eventually, hopefully one day, I can get her on there. So uh, make sure you check out my website, Decon Cover Channel. This is something that I'm going through this on my website. So whatever is on the website, I'll be kind of talking about it on my channel. I'll expand it more and kind of relate it with my, my our personal life with it. So 
that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be talking about other things. I'll have I have mine. I'll have my personal friend here that I'll be talking. Um, I'll have my video. There's a few other videos you see here on it as well. So it's not just it's not just going to be me. It's going to be me and my friends and my sister. Hopefully, if I can get her on there, and um, she's good with the writing. So she's just felt like, okay. I'm just going to stick to that. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe as well for subscribe DK Uncovered and subscribe on my channel as well. Thank you for coming and have an amazing day. Thank you guys.